Christmas, the kids had such a hard time deciding what toys to get their friends. So we went to B&M for some ideas. There was so much to choose from, the kids couldn't believe their eyes. And at B&M prices, neither could we. Then when Santa arrived on Christmas morning, the kids got exactly what they wanted too. B&M, more than a bargain. Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and to another Christmas gift idea video from B&M's. Now this is more a stocking filler guys because as you can see it is a virtual pets unit. Now back in the day we called them Tamagotchas didn't we? or Tamagotchas whatever it is but yeah these days <laughs> they're just calling them virtual pets and all that gubbins. Now they've been appearing everywhere guys from Boots to B&M's and even my work Home Bargains have one all year round. Um, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than this guys because this little unit here cost five quid. So what makes this a bit more special? That's what I'm going to find out. But you can get them a lot more expensive as well guys especially if they have like a, an ami theme to them or something like that like a japanese ami theme to them or something you can pay a hell of a lot more um i saw one in waterstones and i do believe it was about 15 quid just because it was a one piece one so yeah you can imagine can't you they do go for a lot more money um but yeah is this worth picking up as a stocking filler for your kids or even for yourself if you've got a bit of nostalgia for one of these well we're going to find out what makes this worth five quid so starting off we'll look at the box and as you can see guys 168 pets in one wow that is a lot of pets guys i'm not sure all the others have that many that's for sure but as you can see there wow five pound and there we go, feed me, let's play. And this unit is yellow, has a half decent screen on it for uh, <laughs> for what it is. And there's your buttons there, but we'll take a closer look at that in a bit. There is no window on this, which surprised me because you would have thought it could get damaged. You can see them sticking up there, look. Yeah, you would have thought so. Why did they not put a window on it? Very, very odd. Probably because those buttons stick up so much. On the bottom you've got some of the pets there. It actually looks like a pretty smart box to be fair. Quite cool, isn't it? I think it is, for what it is. On the side you've got the uh, old dinosaur there. Nice looking again. On the other side, what have we got? A cat. Yeah, pretty cool. On the top, it just says virtual pets. Bottom, blank. And the back. It's just a load of old gubbins again. So yeah, again it says about 168 pets in one. Virtual pets. And there we go guys with a bit more description here. Select from 168 different pets and care for it as it grows. Providing food, learning and all that. I'll let you read the rest. Strength, clean ups and what have you. Yeah, then down the bottom here guys. Obviously... It gives you more gubbins there. Yeah, these things are actually made for B&M's, which is incredible. As you can see there, guys, on the barcode, B&M's Retail. Made in China, of course, like all of these things usually are. But what do you get in here? That is the big question, isn't it? So we're going to take the trusty, dusty knife. And uh, we're not actually going to cut because I know that there is a cardboard tag under there. So we're just going to try and raise that up, are we? Let's have a look. No, it might be better with my nails. Who knows? It's just a piece of uh, paper, really. Paper tag. Yeah, we're in, I think. Yeah, we're in. So... I'm just going to pull that down like that because I don't really want to keep that tag anywhere. It doesn't matter. So yeah, there you go. But you can see why I didn't cut through it. 
because I knew I'd cut through this tag here. So all right, let's get that out, she says, if I can. There we go, we're in. Oh, look, I ripped it, oh well. This is only this, this time, not like last time, when it was my uh, super pocket title edition. But right, here we go, we're in. And what do we get? All ah, right, okay, so you can see in there. So we do get a bit of gubbins here. Yeah, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. And do we pull this out? I presume we do. Does that pull out, is it a tray? Yes, it is. There we go. We're out. So that's empty. There we go. And yeah, so it's on a bit of card like that, guys. That's about it. It looks pretty cool on the card here. Yeah, it does actually look pretty cool. But it's just on this tag here, guys, hanging on there. So it's obviously like a key ring, as you can see. Do we get that off like that, or is it connected somehow? No, I think it does just pop out, does it? Or is it stuck on there, or I don't know. Yeah, something's holding it there. Maybe it's just a bit of sticky stuff. Let's have a look. You know what, I don't even care if this box breaks, to be fair. But what is holding that? Because it's holding it very, very tight. Yes, it is a bit of sticky stuff, guys. So, oh, that is hard to get off. I had to rip it to actually get it off, as you can see there. Wow, the sticky stuff on this is like cement. So we chuck him out of the way. Yeah, bloody hell. What did they use for this? Christ, oh, I've just pulled it out, by the way. Look, there was a little uh, tag there. That obviously stops the battery working. So I pulled that out by accident already. And this stuff is evil. Is it off? Yeah, we've got it off now. Wow. That is pretty evil. So it's turned it on already, look. Oh dear. We're going to take a closer look at it in a minute. So yeah, when you move it, you lose, <laughs> you lose the screen. It's one of those again, guys. These kind of screens always remind me of... The uh, Game King handheld. <laughs> so here we go with the buttons. You've got a reset. You've got a whatever that says. He says bringing it in and trying to focus it. There we go. Decide, select and cancel. So right, okay. So you've got all that. Fine. Doesn't want to focus very well, does it? So right, okay. On the back we have a little speaker. And of course... A battery cover with a bloody screw in it, as you would. But yes, just watch batteries in this one, so that's pretty cool. Otherwise, nothing. That is your freaking law. I mean, that looks <laughs> fairly cool already, I must say. But we're going to focus in better on it, so you can actually get to see the screen. Uh, so right, back in a sec. You know what, guys, I'm very naughty. I jumped ahead and didn't look at the uh, included piece of very shitey toilet roll and um, yeah virtual pets just tells you about the batteries there lots of other you know warning this is not a toy yes it bloody is really isn't it come on be serious now yeah just tells you what batteries it takes and all that down there it's a bit more crappy information uh, drop off your waste product, oh cool. On the other side, instructions on how to use it. I should think it's fairly simple. I mean, I'm not gonna read this, I'm just gonna go for it in a minute. So you've got start, you've got time mode, you've got naming your pet, training, and all that, games. Oh, there's actual games to play. So you've got, uh, yeah, school, games, transformation if you would like to play with your friend choose the swing hmm. okay so yeah quite interesting to see what's going to happen right so i thought i'd better show that guys that is it right now we're going to focus in better my kids have grown up so quickly and they love the gadgets so this christmas we all went to b&m to find the perfect gifts for one another 
there is so much to choose from at such great prices. And the biggest surprise was saved for Christmas morning. B&M, more than a bargain. Right guys, let's hope we can keep this focused for you. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look again. So obviously, very cheap uh, keyring on the end there. Probably going to break off in no time at all. If not on the plastic, then probably on the little hook on there, the little ring, I should say. But otherwise, I mean, it's a nice enough little thing for what it is. And that is my cat, by the way. Once again, she's getting involved here. Uh, are you having a look at it, are you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we got, like I said, the buttons, the reset, decide, select, and cancel. So yeah, that's all pretty straightforward. Quite a, yeah, interesting looking rabbit there. Hmm. As I say, the screen's not too bad for what it is. But is it worth a fiver, guys? That is the thing. That little speaker there probably barely makes a noise. But yeah, obviously, it's not stereo, it's mono. Um, but yeah, let's uh, reset it. And it comes up with that. And go straight onto a rabbit. So we go to select maybe. So we're doing this together, guys. I haven't done any of this before. So yeah, go to select. Oh, chicken. All right. Panda. That looks quite cool. I like that one. A whale. Wow. Tiger. And seahorse. That looks like a hedgehog. A shrimp. Or oh, prawn or whatever it is. A sheep. A little penguin. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Could be a monkey, I'm not too sure. Could also be a man with a very weird hat. Uh, not sure. That looks like a person, again, with a weird hat. Uh, not a clue. A <laughs> dog. Frog. Fish. And butterfly. Oh, that looks like a butterfly as well. Okay. Pig. Yeah, so lots and lots of different ones here, guys. I'm not going to name them all as we go along here. And I'll be here a very long time showing you them all. So shall we just choose one? Right, we'll choose him then, shall we? Yeah, decide. So there you go. Oh, that's gone to time. Very weird. What is that all about, eh? Right, so we'll keep it on that. Name, Sue. Yeah, Sue will be all right. That's fine. All right, so there's Sue. My dog, Sue. And it looked like it just had a poo, but I don't think it is. Is that a poo? I don't know. Wow, if it is a poo. All right, so what do we do now then? So, have you done a poo? Hmm, select maybe again. Okay, so it's brought a little symbol up at the top there. I don't know if you can make that out there. Not sure what all these functions are. Is it that one maybe? Let's have a look. Okay, not sure what that is either. So let's go back right to the beginning. What was the first one? Oh, here we go, maybe. Maybe we're going to go on to the poo now. Is that it? Uh, not a clue. Not a clue. Gold. Oh, okay. Sue. Yeah, okay. All that. Yeah. Wicked. Name Sue. Yeah, all right. Okay, select. Yeah, back is it, maybe? I don't know. Cancel. There we go. Right, so we're we back at the top there. I don't know. <laughs> I've got to decide again. All right, okay. Cancel and go back to here. I don't really know what I'm doing with this, guys. I should have maybe read the... Uh, piece of toilet paper after all but I'm sure you can see what this thing is uh, right, we've gone to a different one now what does this do not a flicking clue either there hmm okay cancel right select here we go let's try that one decide right that brings that up again oh, okay just all that gubbins again right cancel Select. Let's try that one. Maybe have we tried that one already? I don't know. No, we haven't tried that one yet. Okay. So I'm not too sure what this is supposed to do. 
Oh, we're feeding it, are we? Is that what we did? Did we feed it? Yeah, it looks like it. Cool. Right, okay. So cancel again. And where should we go now? Hmm. To the next one, I suppose. That should really be cleaning up. It looks a bit like a bucket, doesn't it? You'd have thought. Has that got rid of the poo? Yes, it has. Okay, so I get it now. I think I get it. It's just too complicated for me. Do you hear that speaker though, guys? Huh? Yeah. Pretty, um, yeah. Pretty loud, actually, <laughs> for what I thought it was going to be. So what have we got here then? Oh, is that to play with him? Right, okay. Yes, it is. That's a game. So you have got this little game on here, which is pretty cool. Got it, do we? Yeah, we've got gold, whatever that means. Ah, right, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. There we go. Got it. Yes. Oh, we've got another poo there now. Uh, am I going to beat my own score? Four this time. Hmm, okay. Right, let's try again. Then. Oh, oh, we quit. Did we just quit? Oh, whatever then. Uh, what's this one then? Let's see. No, it's just doing that. Okay, so we'll come back out. So there's more games to play as far as I'm aware. Not too sure. Right, okay, we've got to get rid of that poo now. So let's get rid of that. There we go, it's gone, is it? Yay, it's gone. Cool. Move on again. Is this games again? Yes, it is. Right. Okay. Oh, it won't let me play at the moment. Is it because he hasn't got enough energy or something? I don't bloody know. Uh, right, okay. Try that one, maybe? No, it's just not letting me, is it? Oh, dear. Go to the shop. Okay. What are we going to get in the shop, then? No, nothing. Right, okay. I'm going to leave it there, guys, because <laughs> I think I need to explore this a little bit more before I know what the hell's going on. I will just quickly clear that poo again, I think. Oh, what's this? Oh, you can buy a ball. Hang on, then. We'll do that. Right, okay. Uh, we haven't got enough money for it. Okay, then. Right, so cancel. Cancel. Back. There we go. Let's clean that poo up quickly. He says if I can... By pressing the right one, of course, that does tend to help. There we go, I cleared the poo. Right, so, it is what it is, guys, isn't it? Um, do you think this is worth five quid? Um, in my opinion? Yeah, I suppose I'd have to have a little bit more time with it, see if there's other games you can play and things like that. That would be quite cool. I mean, a lot of these... Uh, virtual pets do have some games on them, very basic games. Um, so yeah, it could be an all right stocking filler, but in my honest opinion, you can actually buy these a lot cheaper. Mm, whether they're as good quality as this, I do like these little marks on there, which make it look quite cool. Um, yeah, it's a really hard one, guys. Um, your kids might get a bit of fun out of it. It's one of those things, though, isn't it? It's a bit... You know, they play it for five minutes and then it gets slung in a corner somewhere and uh, runs out of battery and your pet dies. Um, and obviously you can't turn these off, can you? Which would be nice if you could actually do that and it would store it as memory, but you, you just can't do that with these. Um, so, yeah, you can... I mean, you can get this kind of thing for around about three quid. Um, so a fiver is a bit on the rich side, I think, for what it is. But you get a hell of a lot of choice of pets. That is the one good thing. I mean, the amount of pets you get is incredible. Um, so it's definitely something for everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, all right, it is okay as a stocking filler, guys. Um, but don't expect it. wonders of the world for your fiver, though. Your kid's probably, going, like I say, going to play it for a... Maybe even a few weeks, and then it'll probably be chucked in the corner, like I said. Or they'll remove the batteries and trying to uh, get a new pet. What happens if you press reset? Let's have a look. If you press reset, does that mean it goes back and you can choose one again? Ah, now that is cool. That is quite cool. You can just reset it. And basically you kill your pet off and you can choose another one. So that's quite cool that you can do that. Um, yeah, the screen's not wonderful. You're not going to see it really um, unless you're under a very powerful light. 
Yeah, do you know what? That is my my opinion. It's all right for what it is. It's a stocking filler. You can probably buy something very, very similar. Not as many choices of pets, probably, but you can get one cheaper. But if you want the vast choice of pets, uh, the fun little game, that seemed to be quite fun when I was playing it then. Uh, yeah, I think you could do a lot worse, I suppose, for a fiver. There you go. That is my opinion. Can't really say much more than that, can you? So, yeah. Are you going to pick one up for your child or for yourself? You know, there's a lot of nostalgia of people, you know, older people. Uh, sort of like, you know, right up to my age, really. They have a bit of nostalgia for these things. So it could be for an adult as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Would you be tempted to buy one of these for your child or for yourself or for your partner or whoever in your family? For a nice little stocking filler this Christmas. Right, comment away guys. You know how I love to read your comments. And that was a bit of a quicker unboxing and look at. But to be quite honest, there's not really much to look at, is there? Yeah, apart from that. Hmm, rabbit. Yeah, very cool. Right, with that guys, I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. No, let's get that in focus. That's a bit better. Yeah. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, if you love retro games, retro emulation, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles fan group and with 5,000 members guys you can't go wrong i tell you we've got tons of content from system unboxing system reviews emulation performance tech help videos and a whole lot more and the world's greatest admin team ever and i tell you what with 5,000 members oh you really really must come over and have a look because there's plenty of people to banter with and then guys i also have my UK Kraut Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming from the dawn of gaming right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again, tons of content because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. And yeah, if you just love video games from all the different periods, then you will find something there. So again, if that floats your boat, linked below. Head over there we'd love to see you there as well and finally guys i have my channel membership you could become a member of the uk kraut family for as little as 99 pence a month this will give you access to the members only videos it will get you a badge next to your name in the comments that lets everybody know that you're a member of the uk kraut family and it changes color every month guys as well there is other tiers with other perks attached and all that goodness so if you find the join button you can head over, take a look, and see what you think. And with that, guys, me and the rabbit are going to say, Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.